Welcome to We Teach History, a video tutorial by Mr. O'Connor. Weimar Germany, Hyperinflation, 1923. This tutorial should be seen in conjunction with the other event of 1923, the invasion of the Ruhr by the French and Belgians. Both events coincided with each other and happened in the same year. So what are the main points? Well, in 1923 the Republic could not afford to pay reparations to the Allies. They were scared in case the French and the Belgians might invade. So what they did is to start print more money and pay off the reparations like that. But by 1923, the economy had completely collapsed and German money was worthless. The main example is that it cost 2 billion German marks for just a loaf of bread. So these are the main points to take from this short tutorial. So you may be thinking, how do you get in such a dire situation? Well, it comes down to how money works. If you have a £5 note, you're very lucky. Have a look at it. It says at the top, under the Bank of England statement, that I promise to pay the bearer the sum of £5. This piece of paper is a receipt. It represents £5 in value of the nation's wealth. Then that could be measured on gold, on steel or on coal production, depending on how many assets the nation has. So you could go in the Bank of England and get £5 of the nation's wealth. So a piece of paper, paper money, is actually just a receipt. It just represents the wealth of a nation. But if you produce too much, it becomes worthless. The best example I can give of this is if you actually had a shop and you were selling tins of soup and you had a hundred tins of soup but you actually printed off vouchers for everyone and you printed a thousand. Those vouchers would be worthless because there wouldn't be enough soup to go around so they become valueless. This is what happened with the German economy. If you have a look at this chart which could come up on an exam. It starts off in 1923 with a one gold mark is worth 100 paper money. But it goes up to a million. The money became utterly and completely worthless. He's a gentleman here using the money, the worthless money, to wallpaper his house. He's someone here, a street sweeper, just sweeping up the money that was thrown on the floor because it was completely worthless. This is my favourite. School kids playing with bundles of money. Just imagine the sight of that. Because it was worthless. People were reduced to actually trading with each other or bartering and swapping goods. So you'd swap some potatoes for some coal for your fire. So in 1923, because the Republic could not afford to pay reparations, they started to print more money and it became worthless. The economy collapsed. And because it collapsed, that's when the French and the Belgians invaded the Ruhr, which we looked at in previous tutorial. The main point to remember is that it cost 2 billion marks for a loaf of bread. So money is worthless. Paper money has no value whatsoever. This civilised country, one of the leading countries in Europe, if not the world, was reduced to trading and bartering and swapping goods for goods. So this was a dire situation to happen in Germany.